2017 is not just an election year, it's also a runoff year in Kenya. And that is tough for businesses. I want to share with you three ways that you can use Facebook and existing customer relationships to focus on retention. So retaining existing customers you have, getting more of them to buy, and getting similar customers to them to actually buy and purchase whatever your good product or service is. My name is Mark Kaigua and you're watching Digital Africa. Since independence, every single election year has brought a couple things that we can look at from an economic point of view and determine what that means for us as business people and genuinely as people in the marketplace. The first thing is that every election year has brought either a stagnation or a regression of the economy. That's not my opinion, that is what the facts say about spending and the market at large. If we know this to be true, then why would we operate in a way that mirrors how we have the last four years or the period of time between the last election and now? So the focus now has to be or has to shift towards not just acquiring new customers, which is important, but retaining existing ones and focusing on what we can actually do to them to serve them, to get them to be more loyal or to refer us to more people. That's the theme for 2017. It's customer retention through digital channels. So in here, you want to make sure that you're growing your audience, not just in terms of acquiring new ones, but growing the engagement around the existing people that have opted in and said, we want to hear from you, we want to engage with you. Social media can be a key channel that you choose to use for retention. And I want to outline three key ways that you can do that. The first way that you can use social media for retention is you can seek out the contacts of people who have actually purchased from you or interacted with you in the past. And here's what you do. If somebody has paid you through M-Pesa, you have their phone number. If somebody has happened to fill in a form for one reason or the other and given you their email address, these two are key. If you have neither, that's okay, we might address that in another video, but let's just say you have a few of phone numbers and email addresses. We are looking for retention, meaning we're trying to engage people who've already opted in and interacted with you. These two, either one, can be key. And I'll tell you why, because on Facebook, if you have a Facebook page already and are choosing to interact with customers there, you can choose to actually upload the contacts, either the email addresses or the phone numbers of existing people who have interacted with you and make it Facebook's job to see whether they already like your page or have already interacted with you online. And what you're seeking to do is target them to make a special audience because not everybody should see the same message. So if you're thinking retention, starting with the actual contacts you have is a great place for you to begin because you get the chance to send them specially targeted messages through Facebook. The second thing you want to think about is what are called lookalike audiences. Now this may only apply to people who have a Facebook page and are looking to apply this bigger idea of retention to that specific audience. But you can ask Facebook to say, I have this existing audience. I have these phone numbers. I have these email addresses. And I want people who are like them according to Facebook's data and its algorithms and what nature of information it has on very, very many of us. And if you've been following my videos, it's 7.1 million people in Kenya. And you can actually find the other video where I shared uh, who's on there, what statistics there are about them, and just some insights around that. And this happens to be both the eighth most downloaded um, application in the country of Kenya today and the third most downloaded, yes, twice. So if you've not seen that video with the top 10 most downloaded apps in the country, you can also find that below. The second thing you're looking to do is to ask Facebook to create for you what are called lookalike audiences. This just means that you're taking existing phone numbers and existing email addresses that you have of customers that you are already planning to reach out to, to get them either to purchase again, we're given a special message because they've bought for me in the past, or to give you referrals, meaning you're just trying to get them to advocate for you in some small way and you wanna make that easy for them. The other thing you can do is you can ask Facebook with a bid to re retention to give you people similar to them. 
Facebook has thousands upon thousands of data points and historically so much information on the 7.1 million Facebook users in Kenya, the 140 plus million Facebook users in Africa, and the 2 billion people across the world. So if you know this, you get the chance to benefit from all the data they have, not just on the people who you uploaded there onto your page, but also across what they call lookalike audiences, meaning that you get to find people who are perhaps a similar age or have similar patterns, even purchase wise, because you'll remember Facebook is also the eighth and third most downloaded app in Kenya today. And that means that they have everybody's address book. They have everybody's uh, mobile phone location. They have all this rich information that you can benefit from to make it easier for you, not just to speak to anyone because you are looking to acquire new customers, but to build in terms of retention, starting with the phone numbers and email addresses you have, and more importantly, shifting towards lookalike audiences, which mirror the existing customer base especially if they've either liked your page or you have their contacts and it gives you the chance to send a message or a series of messages that get to interact with them and prove to them that you have a product or service that they need. Third is about thinking about social proof. Now you want to make sure that you put your best foot forward reputation wise. You want to show that you're responsive either to customers current, past, prospects and future customers and one of the ways you do that is by creating social proof i'll explain so testimonials act as social proof because they prove i'm not the first buyer i'm not the first person to trust you one thing you can actually put your existing customers to work on is them just describing and giving you feedback it's the reason why you've heard people ask others to rate and review because that social proof goes a long way in helping other similar people actually make that purchase decision in your case whether you're on facebook or anywhere else i'll concentrate on facebook for now you can choose to ask people especially customers who are there are happy and are satisfied to rate and give you feedback that will work and serve others one way you can do this facebook is really pushing themselves as an app around reviews you can ask them to visit your page and leave a review and if they can leave not just a review but a comment as well when people see familiar names describing the service describing the benefits and describing the outcome even with some feedback they feel comfortable making a purchase decision while the internet has brought many gains trust especially in Kenya despite e and m commerce meaning uh, much of the the purchase of online goods and services that's happening now trust is still a bit low so if you can do anything at all with a view to retention that focuses on getting you social proof through testimonials, ratings and reviews from customers you have, you're putting them to work that lessens the amount of marketing and selling you have to do because now we're moving from a world of word of mouth, which is how it used to work, they go out and tell someone to word of mouse, which is more digitally inclined. So you have the chance to do that. And these are some of the key ways that you can choose to focus on retention and use Facebook as a platform to do that. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to view this. And more importantly, if there's any questions I can answer for you, or if you find anything actually useful in this video, please do like, share, subscribe, and get a friend to see this and spread the message. It's not going to be an easy year for us in business this year, but that doesn't mean we can't make the most of what we do have. And that, especially if you're a business which has been around some time, is existing customers. If you are just starting, try and use friends and family and your inner circle to follow these same steps to get them actually involved. At Nendo, we support businesses of all sizes to focus not just on retention, but more on a bigger winning web presence. And that means all of your digital assets, including social, firing on all cylinders because your business needs that. My name is Mark Kaigwa and you're watching Digital Africa.